38-year-old Rich Gannon ended up breaking his neck on this play. And this ended up being the last snap he ever played for the Raiders. Welcome back to the channel Raider Nation. I'm your host, Dr. Nav Badesha. I was 12 years old when this injury happened and I grew up the most diehard Rich Gannon fan. His MVP year was something that was so close to my heart at that time. And you can't mention the greatest quarterbacks to ever play for the Raiders and not mention Rich Gannon. Today we pay homage to the great Rich Gannon by breaking down this injury. And by the end of this video, you should be able to break down exactly how this injury happened. And you should be able to explain to all of Raider Nation what the long-term implications of a neck injury can be. Gannon sustained what he called a stable fracture of the C7 vertebrae during the helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision with Buccaneers linebacker Derek Brooks. This means the fracture more so represented the picture on the left compared to the unstable fracture on the right. The spine is split into four different parts. The C-spine or cervical spine, the T-spine or thoracic spine, the L-spine or lumbar spine, and the S-spine or the sacral spine. And we'll focus more on the C-spine today. Rich Gannon's injury occurred on this disc. The mechanism behind the neck injury is one that is common in football players. Our spine has a natural curvature to it. This curvature helps to absorb impact and load. And anytime we take away some of that natural curvature, for example, when players lower their head to make a tackle, or in Gannon's case, when he's running with the ball, the back and neck is more straight. This subjects the spine to higher stresses and actually makes it more susceptible to injury. Hence why leading with the head is something that the game is going away from. Spinal cord injuries are more common outside of sports, but regardless, they can be very disabling and can leave you completely or partially paralyzed, like we saw in the case of Ryan Shazier. These are the C7 nerve roots. Notice that they branch out into the arms, and most importantly, these vertebrae up here, they protect the nerves that help control our breathing. This is part of the reason why neck injuries can be life-threatening. When Gannon announced his retirement, he mentioned it really wasn't his decision, and he couldn't continue to play the game physically, it's likely he suffered from something called myelopathy, which means damage to the spinal cord. This can occur due to compression and pressure from a vertebral fracture, but can also happen from a herniated disc, like in Peyton Manning's case, a bone spur, spinal stenosis, or from a tumor. These nerve roots here control both the movement and sensation in the arm, which includes some basic actions like fanning of the fingers, contraction of the tricep, and moving the elbow and wrist. It's likely after this fracture, Gannon was unable to throw the football like he did before the injury. This injury is slightly similar to Peyton Manning's neck injury, which also occurred in the C6, C7 region. If you guys are learning something new, don't forget to give this a huge thumbs up and please smash that subscribe button. It really helps our family grow. Thank you. However, Manning was reported to have suffered from a herniated disc and may have had a neck fusion surgery prior to winning his second Super Bowl. Raiders fans might recall that the Broncos had a great defense that year and Manning definitely could not throw the ball like he could prior to the injury. Richie went out the only way a true Raider can. His face is well beaten. Fighting for every last inch. That's it for our video today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new, please give it a huge thumbs up. And Raider Nation, make sure you smash that subscribe button. We're going to be breaking down all the major injuries that are happening in the 2023 regular season. But we'll also be breaking down old, iconic Raiders injuries. And if you have any suggestions, comment below and I'll make sure we make it happen. Much love.